What's up? What's up, YouTube? Your girl back, simply love back in the house, okay? Um, it's Pisces season right now, so I'm going to start with the water signs, actually beginning with Pisces, Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors. Can you give us the messages that you have for Pisces uh, during Pisces season? What are the messages you have for Pisces for Pisces season? for March 2021. Spirit guides, ancestors, what are the message you want to deliver to me? I've seen the seven of swords. Uh, for sun, moon, rising, Venus sign for Pisces for March 2021 in their season. What are the messages you have for me, spirit? Mm, not enough. For Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, March 2021. Thank you, spirit. Let's see here. Back in, the day, uh, back in the day, you had the Seven of Wands. So, Seven of Wands tell me that, you know, some of you are defensive about something. Um, it's it's kind of like defending yourself. You're on defense. You're in defense mode for some reason, Pisces. Let's see what's going on. Well, we had the Three of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> Three of Swords talking about you waiting on something else to come in. Maybe that's what the, that maybe you're fighting off maybe someone else because you're waiting for something else to come in and you wait for a new beginning. You got the Ace of Pentacles. That means, you know, wait for your ships to come in. It's like you're, you're just waiting for something else. It's like you, it's almost like somebody, you know, like you, you use your, um, when you want something, you kind of think about it. What you think about, you bring about. So you're thinking about, you know, moving forward. You're thinking about the future is what you're doing. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a new beginning. Maybe you're thinking about a new future in money-wise or job-wise, or you're thinking about a new beginning that's more stable and practical is what I'm getting as well. Okay, so we had the Three of Swords. <laughs> wow. Some of you are dealing with a air of a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here. We have the High Priestess, which is a, that's you, Pisces, okay? And then we had the Three of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So with the High Priestess here and the Three of Swords, I'm feeling like somebody has a, um, somebody knows that somebody probably going to hurt them. That's probably why they're looking for a new beginning here. They're, they're kind of like, somebody may be dodging a bullet here, okay? Somebody's like, I said, looking into the future, look, you got the uh, high priestess, very psychic, you know, knowing things, ha uh, great with intuition. Um, yeah, I think you're trying to dodge a button. Uh, I think you're trying to dodge something here. I think, you, like I said, you're dodging this heartbreak with the three of swords because you have some kind of feeling about if you're with somebody now that they're going to hurt you. You know, that they're going to cross you or something like that. They're going to deceive you. You have some kind of inkling about it, okay? Or, you you know, there's secrets going on here. Because you see back here, there's the curtain. The high priestess knows stuff. She just don't say anything. So that's what I'm picking up. Like, somebody's holding secrets here. And for another thing, see, you guys got to bear with me because Spirit be giving me a lot of messages. And it, it makes me thump, fumble through a lot. So please bear with me. Um... I forgot. See, it went by that fast. It'll come up. Oh, okay. I see that there's somebody here that wants to move forward to a new beginning because there were some secrets that came out and it broke your heart. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, what are the messages you want me to get in Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Sign for Pisces for March 2021. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors. Wow. Yeah. See the devil. Um, the devil. There was some, you were attached to somebody here. It was some kind of obsession. You were attached. You see them two people? <clears throat> I'm not going to go way out the way unless Spirit tell me to, but <clears throat> these two people are chained to bound to one another with the darkness in the middle, which is the, the devil. So there's some kind of um, obsession here where you were, uh, where you felt chained and bound to another person, which it, you know, with the devil, it's it was unhealthy and it was toxic. Okay, so we had the magician in the in the reverse. So talking about a Virgo or a Gemini here or a Aries as well. Um, we talk about you could have been dealing with a Capricorn. So with the magician in reverse, there was somebody you know um, very manipulative in this relationship, and they manipulated. They manipulated for you to stay chained and bound to them. 
they were a, 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 a <clears throat> spirits telling me a massive manipulator like they were the type that know how to play on your emotions thank you spirit you're really bringing these out before i'm trying to get the messages out <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had a master manipulator here, Virgo, Gemini, or uh, um, Ge or uh, Aries with the magician in reverse. That's a manipulator. That's a master manipulator. Okay, they were manipulating this relationship heavy. And Pisces, I have to say, you have to take some responsibility for this, for allowing this person to do this. This has been a long, ongoing thing here. <clears throat> so now we have the Nine of Swords and the King of Swords. Now, I feel like you want to take this. You want to take someone here, which could be a Capricorn, or you, wants to take this leap, of, wants to move and start a new beginning because you got, your, your secrets came out about this person and you it, they broke your heart. This person you might have been with for a while with the devil card, you were chained and bound to them due to manipulation. This person was manipulating you very heavily here till they had, you know, wanted you tied and bound to them. So with the Nine of Swords and the King of Swords here, you know, <clears throat> you maybe I feel like some of you in your dream state, you got some kind of re, you got some kind of truth in your dream state. <clears throat> this is somebody not sleeping or having some kind of dreams or epiphanies and things like that. And what it came out to be with this King of Swords, you got the truth. <clears throat> For some of you, it's the other person. It's the other person not getting any rest and any sleep because the tr you told them the truth. You told them the truth about something. You you, you know you laid the pip pimp hand down on somebody. And for some of you, it's just that you know you're just tired of being up at night worrying about the situation. You know a lot of uh, 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 anxieties, restless nights, dreaming and stuff like you know bad dreams and stuff like that. Because if you just like you woke up, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like you woke up, you woke up and said, "I gotta be honest with myself about this relationship." And this, you know, with this three of wands and the um, ace of pent. Let me put it down here. Oh, I can't reach it. <laughs> you had to be honest with yourself about this relationship and decide to, with the three of wands, you know, decide to, you know, just like leave this relationship behind and start something totally brand new with the ace of pentacles there. Yeah, Pisces. Spirit, angel guides, ancestors, what messages do you want me to give Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? That was too many. What messages do you want me to give Pisces for March 2021? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go. Page of Pentacles, okay? Again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Wow, all these cards, these are a little slippery. Holy Spirit, can you give me a call? Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It, okay, we have the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's trying to block you from going. Look, they're trying to make some kind of offer to you. It's a small offer, though, because this is a page, page or kids. They immature. They could be a grown person and still immature, act childlike, okay? So I think we're talking to mature people here, but they're trying to make an offer for, to stop you from... Um, but with the with the knight of pentacles in reverse i i, I feel like you're just going to move on from this offer because if it was in the upright i would say you know hey they, you know well they are trying to stop you what am i doing here Ugh. if they were in the upright and it was like this oh it was like this no it wasn't like they were like this <laughs> I would say somebody's trying to make you an offer to stop you. They are trying to stop you from going, but you're refusing the offer with it being in the reverse because in the reverse, you know why? Because the Knight of Pentacles is someone who stops and this is somebody who is still, they're not even moving. If they were in the upright, they're very slow, methodical thinking, thinking this offer through, but it's in the reverse. It's like, you don't even want to think about it. You just want to move, keep moving. 
yeah you want to keep moving here because this person broke your heart here and you know holding a lot of secrets they had a lot of secrets going on oh and what i was going to say if you look in the background of the high priestess in this deck there's a curtain there but it's not revealed okay it's not revealed so that goes to show you you know there's some kind of secrets here and the secrets must had come out whatever these secrets happened it came out because you know it destroyed you but this person is trying to come out virgo taurus or capricorn so i believe some of you are are you know talking to a Vir uh, earth sign or a uh, air sign we got a lot of that we got a lot of earth that capricorn which is the devil pisces this is you maybe you know y'all can flip these roles if you want to or if you need to just depends on who's watching the video cross watchers i know y'all here looking too this is what's up with pisces okay and if y'all don't mind giving the video a thumbs up i really appreciate it i don't ever ask for nothing else you guys but that you're right there the button's right there you know the message ain't going nowhere because you can always reverse it here over and over again so hit the like button okay thank you <laughs> here we have major arcana card the justice so we got major arcana um the devil the high priestess two majors so some of you could be dealing with a libra energy here three of cups so there's going to be justice for you pisces here with the justice being here there's there's going to be justice for you things are going to go in your favor and you're going to be able to celebrate with the three of cups i feel like some of you are going out meeting new friends new people possibly new locations um this definitely is a celebration for you because this person really looked like they done you wrong here there was a lot of secrets lot of secrets sorry y'all give me a second let's look at what deck I'm going to use okay let's get some clarification here but this is yeah Somebody's moving on from being in a toxic situation here. Somebody got their heart broken here by somebody. But somebody is like getting justice out of the situation. Like somebody's going to try to stop someone from, from moving forward, giving them some kind of offer to be a bribe. But this, you know, with this Knight of uh, Pentacles in reverse, which is the slowest deck in the, in the slowest night in the deck, somebody's not doing because they're just moving on. They're just going to keep moving because they're moving towards their justice here. They're, you guys are going to have justice from this person. I don't know. With the devil, the three of swords here, um, that's some that's some pain right there. And, you know, you got the nine of swords that they kept you worried all the time. This person may have been someone who was in and out of your life. Yeah, here's the world card at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you guys want a new beginning. You want to start. You want to close this cycle out. Some of you want to close this cycle out. Okay. Let's see what we got on the three of wands and the ace of pentacles. Jeez, wow. Put you guys up. Y'all excited about leaving? Just a second. I hate when these cards fall on the floor, but I'm going to take these spears like take those Yeah We got the strength card in reverse, okay, and then we, which is a Leo energy and then we got the tower Wow two major arcana cards together the tower which is like a, a Leo energy or Aries energy, one of the two. Wow, where's this reverse? It's coming the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, mm. Three of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, y'all energy, the Magician, okay, the Magician's here again, and again, first is here in the reverse, and then, okay, the Magician's on top of the uh, Devil, 
Okay, here we got the three of wands again. Okay, that's on top of the magician in reverse. Okay, and then we have the ten of of uh, the ten of uh swords in reverse. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, any Air, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. So what I'm picking up here is that um this person really This person took a lot of your strength away. They kind of like put you down a lot with this, uh, with this, um, major arcana card, um, the strength card. And I also feel that, um, with this tower, major arcana card, and this person kept stopping you from, this person may, like I said, enticed you with money or something like that to keep you around, or maybe you were, maybe, maybe you were the breadwinner and they wanted to keep you around just because of that, because I'm getting a lot of pentacles here. Um, so, you know, with the tower in reverse, if somebody tried to avoid you from moving forward here, is what it looks like to me. Mm. Got the four of pentacles in reverse as well. Somebody's trying to hold on definitely this earth energy here. I feel some of you dealing with, a lot of you are dealing with earth energy. Um, the four of pentacles in reverse, okay. I'm just looking at a lot of somebody. Look, Pisces, either, either you were holding yourself back because of this person. Maybe you know you were just so in love. You've been together for a while. It looks like to me like you were holding on to this person or this person holding on you for financial reasons. I feel like you didn't have no love for this person or your love ran out of this person with this eight of cups in reverse, okay? You know, it, because of the heartbreak, you were... This person hurt you more than one time, okay? Whoever this is, they hurt you more than one time. And every time they hurt you, you wanted to leave, they would stop you. I feel like this person was a, a, a emotional manipulator. Very emotional. They were, and, and, and with the magician here, they were a, a big emotional. They knew, they knew how to press your buttons, Pisces, whoever this person is. They're a master manipulator here. Look, the devil and the magician. This person might have been a narcissist as well. There's some narcissist energy with that being there. And you're trying to go here on top of the magician in reverse. You know, you want a new beginning. But this person was really manipulating with you. I see a tad bit of magic here. Y'all know magic ain't got about lighting candles and doing all this other funny stuff. You could do magic with your mouth because... This person is a, a, a manipulator, emotional manipulator. That's a spell in its own, okay? That's a spell in its own. People can cast spells just by the words that's coming out of their mouth. So, so, you got the eight of swords and you got the nine of swords. Eight and nine. You got tired of worrying. It's like you want to, you know, you want peace. You want to let go. You're coming out of this. Um, you're coming out of this energy of being worried and having anxieties all the time from this person. Okay, you want to let this thing go. You kind of like want to put your foot down and say, "I got to let this go." With the Four of Pentacles, it's like you you don't want to hold on anymore. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit guides, what are the messages you want to get out for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit guides, can you give me the messages? Ancestors, please. Thank you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, sign for March 2021. Sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ancestors, what are the messages? Okay, thank you. I think we got all the clarifiers plus one. Yeah, this person trying to... Look, I, I'm telling you. Wow. I'm telling you this person trying to keep you from moving on. Wow. All this stuff is in reverse. Let's see here. See, the Seven of Swords is about moving away. It could be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy. This person's offering you something so to stop you from moving away. The Six of Swords in the upright. In the upright. <laughs> is this it? Oh, wrong hand. Six of Swords in the upright is somebody moving away. Moving to calmer waters. Not wanting, you know, just leaving everything behind. In reverse, it's like, see this person offering something? And you, like, to stop you from leaving. Just stopping you from moving forward. If it's in reverse, that means they're not moving forward. So somebody's doing this. Trying to stop you from moving. Now we got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And we got the, um... The King of Cups in reverse. And you're really pissed about this situation. I, um, I 
this person is trying to you want to move forward but you're in reverse here this is you i believe in reverse the, the masculine it could be either or but this person could be mad and again this person is cold okay look the, the up in reverse the king of cups in reverse is emotionally stable they have control over their emotions things like that very kind very giving but in reverse this is someone who is sorry about that y'all important phone call came in but anyway yeah in reverse is like you know this person is is pretty much out of control they're like overdoing it with their emotions like they're all you know, because they're trying to stop you from leaving and it looks like you want to leave, but they're, they're using, you know, like I said, manipulation. This person may be very over emotional or it could be you, Pisces, because this is your card, but you could deal with someone to have uh, water in their chart with all this over, all, with all this manipulation here. So we got justice and we got the, um, yeah, the six, see? There's justice here, but they don't want you to win, okay? They're trying to stop you from winning. They're trying to stop you from getting your justice, okay? With the six of uh, wands in the reverse, the Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Because in the upright, the six of wands is what? Having victory, you know, moving forward. They're trying to stop you from this getting this justice. Or they're either trying to stop their karma from coming in, okay? So they if they have to stop their karma, they have to stop you from going, period. So we had the three of cups, celebrations, and then the um, given card. This person, I feel like they know they're going to lose out on finances here with you, okay? Giving in the upright, not giving in the, uh, they feel like they're going to lose their finances from you. They're going to, see this person begging or, you know, being, I think you've been uh, very gracious with this person with your finances, Pis Pisces, and they're afraid that that's going to leave when you leave, okay? That's what it is. Because you're not wanting to give... They. This is the reason why it all has to do with finances. I feel like that was what the secret was here. This person is like off the chain boy this is something look seven of swords in reverse but they ain't getting away with nothing they ain't gonna get away with it whatever they're doing here they're not getting away with it let me holy spirit what is going on with this person what what are can you give us some more information, please, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is this person? Yeah, Eight of Cups in the upright. That's your energy. You're walking away. See, because they're not going to get away with the deception with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Upright is deception, and it's not deception. Somebody's not going to get away with it, period. Cause this is somebody sneaking away somebody's not going to get away with it somebody's walking away here okay and i feel like this you you can always flip the script the, yeah this is you i feel like this um knight of pentacles and this was it a knight of um and the other person could be this knight of wands the old wild horse here trying to stop you from having victory yeah look page of swords here <laughs> look now they're gonna be spying and you know tripping you know running off at the mouth trying to see where you're going trying to see what you're doing um trying to get information spying probably gonna this person probably gonna go around you know this person's gonna flip out is all i could say when you you know because they see that you're getting away from them and they're going to try to stop it some kind of way by always finding where you are. This person, you know, stalks. You know what I'm saying? They're watching you. As soon as they watch you, this person's going to, you know, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra's energy. This person's going to, like, be doing all kind of wild stuff, trying to embarrass you in front of people because they're trying to stop you from leaving with the three of wands. You're, you want to leave. They don't want you to leave. 
They're probably going to stalk your page and see who you're talking to and all type of stuff just popping up out of nowhere, watching you from afar. This person is really something wrong with them. Something's wrong with them. So be careful. See, Seven of Swords. You may be trying to just sneak away from them. You may have to sneak away from them. You know, like, you know, get your shit or whatever. And just like, you know, when it's dark time, just swish. Get out of the way. <laughs> because you are sitting here. You're looking into the future. And you want to go. Queen of Pentacles. Uh, you might be going towards a Queen of, P of Pentacles, Pisces. King or Queen. It could be either or. Somebody who is very stable and grounded, um, they have money, they're really set, they don't need nobody, they're very independent. Um, and then on the other hand, I'm hearing too, this person, you might have to sneak away from this person because this person that you with or trying to get away from, try to sneak away from, look, you're trying to get away from them, right? Because... You want you you see something in your future. You're you're looking you're waiting for something else, okay? So that could be the story, or the story could be this is this person, you know, you gotta sneak away from because you know all they want to do is stay in your pockets all the time. Period. They want to stay in your pockets. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I, I'm feeling a lot. You guys leave it in the comment if you guys are round a uh dealing with a Virgo heavily, or not a Virgo, Virgo Tarts or Capricorn, some kind of earth sign, and they may have water in their chart because all this manipulation, they're emotionally manipulative, they're emotionally abusive, you know, they try to keep you on a string, try to keep you like a string on a puppet, like a puppet on a string, but you want to go. You want to close the chapter to this. You want to cho close the chapter with the world card. You want to close this chapter out, Pisces. The Ace of Cups is going to, you know, um, bring some kind of heartache. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's going to feel, I feel like you, you lost love for them. Can I say that with the Ace of Cups in reverse? Because in the top, it's like you got a whole lot of love for somebody, all in love. In reverse, you don't have, your your cup is em you, um, empty. In this, per this person you're, is empty to you. You don't feel no love for them no more. The love is gone in this relationship, okay? And then we got, <laughs> what came out here? We got the Hermit, the Strength card in, uh, upright and the chariot this is all about yeah getting the strength after thinking about this for a while with the hermit card and the chariot you you know then you're going to put yourself in action and move forward and you're not going to look back you got the world card here where you move it you, you know you're you're closing out a cycle here this is permanent once do you hit this it's permanent so that's what i'm picking up here like you know you're going to get your strength back you know you're going to gain control of yourself your courage is going to come back up and then you're going to like i feel like it okay it was like this i feel like you know thought about it for a long time you've been thinking about this for a long time virgo energy okay this is major arcana here the hermit major arcana the strength see all these major arcanas here is you, you know you you guys are moving forward you're going to the 5d okay so you got your courage and strength up and now you're you leaving with the chariot you're moving forward you're persevering here i don't know what else to say because this is just repeating itself that's what i'm getting for you pisces okay the person that you're dealing with is just way oh you're tired of it you're tired of the manipulation you're tired of all the drama you're tired uh pisces and you're moving forward you're moving this person's gonna try to stop you you know like i said the drama comes the drama is coming they're gonna try to avoid this tower they know you're fed up they you know they know you're fed up and you you know you found out some secrets about this person i think that's what really um and it caused you to you know have a lot of anxieties and stuff and not sleep you know, this person wanted to keep you tied and bound to them. They were always probably on your ass everywhere you go. Here they come and all type of stuff. This person was paranoid. This person seemed to feel like they're going to treat you like a kid. But they're going to, they know that you're serious. 
Spirit, what are the what are the messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? And you're going to get away, Pisces. You're getting away from this person. I feel like you got to sneak away from them because they're always on your ass, okay? And they've been doing this for the longest. You want a new beginning? You're going to get it. That's what it says here. And if all y'all, if some of you are on the fence and been thinking about this, well, here's your confirmation from Spirit saying they're going to give you the strength to move forward. They are. Here, ooh. See, the bottom of the deck here is balance. You're going to have your balance here. Hope y'all can see that. You're going to have balance and stability here. That's like the temperance card to me. What are the, uh, what's the advice you have for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for Pisces? Dreams. You know, uh, uh, you know, like I said in this with this card here, I feel like you've been having uh, lucid dreams. Your ancestors were talking to you in your sleep, and you were, you know, you were getting the four one one, like you gotta go. You were, you were getting information from your spirit guides that, you know, there was some secrets here about this person. Okay, they were probably revealing it to you, and I feel like so for some of you were dodging here, you know, in your dreams you were dodging like a, some type of heartbreak or heartache. Spirit was telling you it, that's what you were waking up at night because the spirit was in your dreams for some of you. For some of you, this person was just getting right on your nerves here, you know. And I feel like you surrendered to spirit. I feel like you end up surrendered because I feel like this been. I got a, a feeling that this been going on for quite some time here with this person. You're finally breaking free. Yeah, you had to surrender to the divine, you know, after they showed you this in dream state. It's like you just couldn't go to sleep. Spirit was protecting you, okay? So, you know, you want harmony. You want harmony and peace now. This is what you want, okay? And, you know, have some type of compassion. Compassion. Don't don't be so hard on yourself. Okay. Have compassion for yourself. You know because things around you are getting ready to change. It's just that simple. Things are changing, and I know it, you know you're going through the process. But look, there's an owl there, and at, what are owls all about? They're about knowledge. Okay. You gained a lot of knowledge, and now you're changing. You're changing everything about what's going on with you. That owl is there giving you all kind of knowledge. You know, the owl is white, so white represents spirituality. So you're getting your spiritual knowledge here. So, you know, perception. You're looking at things at a different... You're looking at things differently now. I feel like a lot of you taking off your mask, you know, if you were masquerading around. Like, you just like, wow, Pisces, y'all just... Y'all becoming new. <laughs> See, celebration card come up again. Now you can celebrate. It's like, you know, you see these butterflies here in this picture? You went through some kind of transformation. And now you, you know, you can celebrate yourself for doing this, okay? One more card, Spirit. Freedom. See, it sets you free. You set you free, Pisces. If y'all on the verge and don't know what's up, this is what's up. You're going to go through some kind, you're going to get things through your, if you haven't already, hit the comment section and let me know. If you haven't already, you done got some kind of epiphany from your spirit guides. It's like when you sleep, if you wake up, you know, they've been showing you things and, you, and they're helping you to have the courage to leave this, to leave this relationship, period. To leave this relationship alone. Do we have anything else for, let me pick one more out of here. Any other advice you have for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Pisces? Any other information we have here for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for Pisces? Holy Spirit, Ancestors, do we have any more information? Any more advice? Any more information for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Pisces? 
Here we go. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, sundress, do it for, yeah, do it for you, Pisces. Do it for yourself. Do it for yourself. Yep. Uh, nostalgia. Some of you may have been dealing with somebody from your past. You might have been with this person for a long time since maybe you were kids. So this is the Six of Cups in the regular deck. Focus on the here and now. They're saying focus. Don't don't be don't go back to the past. Okay, the past is the past. Leave it there. It no longer serves you here in the near here and now. It's time to focus on the here and now. So you go go ahead and um uh do this thing for yourself. Okay. Time to stop worrying about everybody else, what they going to do, how many people out here are grown, you know, they lived a life, you know. I told y'all Saturn's here. I keep saying, I have to keep saying it because people don't believe it, don't believe it until shit happens and hit the fan. People don't believe stuff, but I ain't trying to convince nobody or nothing. I just have to say what spirit tell me to say, like people got to watch out. People got to be careful because because these karmics, these karmic energies, these people that you've been around for too long and stuff like that, all that stuff is coming to an end. Pisces, I'm so proud of you because it looks like to me you're getting out the way. <laughs> you're getting out the way and you're doing it for yourself. You know, like I said, a lot of y'all had epiphanies and stuff like that. Okay. So let me do something else here as a bonus. Uh, again, happy birthday to you guys. Happy birthday to you Pisces out there. Okay, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, what messages, what advice do you have for Summer Rising Venus sign for Pisces? What are the messages you have for Pisces, Summer Rising and Venus sign for Pisces? Can I get some message for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Pisces. Holy Spirit, ancestors, can we get the messages you have for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Pisces? There they go. Ooh. They got a lot to say. Okay, Pisces, stop. Uh. Stop obsessing. This could be your person. You are not the uh, fucking center of the universe. Yeah, this is your person here. This is this karmic that you're dealing with. They trying to tell them, you know, they need to stop it. You know, they need to stop this obsessing. We seen that in the in the reading. If it's not them, Pisces, then it's you. Okay. Somebody needs to detox. Somebody need to, you know, drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, and and throw some shit out. So this, you know, this to me, detox is, you know, they say unfriend. So somebody, you remember the stalker card came out? If this is not you, Pisces, this is the other person where they're stalking. And, you know, everywhere you go, whatever you do here, then somebody need to take take a time out here and somebody need to leave somebody alone. Somebody need to stop this stuff, whoever may be doing this. Okay, get some fucking sleep, okay? <laughs> you are being, you are being an ass because you're fucking tired. Face to the pillow now somebody need to get some rest remember we had that can't get no sleep card can't get no sleep get some fucking sleep if this is you pisces because you've been stressed out because of this situation time you get some sleep okay thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards remember we had the seven of swords don't believe every shitty uh thought you have yeah don't believe every thought that you have okay you got the strength card in your reading, so you should be strong enough. Don't, you know, and have the courage. Don't let your thoughts take take over you. See, because they could be sneaky, lying bastards, okay? These thoughts that you have that may be negative. Or it could be for the other person, okay, as well. You can always flip this how you think it is, should be. Oh, what did I see here that I think that went with the reading as well? Money, something about money. Oh, make it rain. Make it rain, Pisces. See the dollar sign. Make it rain. Make it rain. Make it rain. Make it rain. Make it rain, Pisces. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's it. I'm going to cut it off from here. I want to get too, too 
drained under this energy okay pisces if you you guys you know feel like this makes sense to you or you want you know you know a lot of this could be for anybody out here that's a pisces someone rising in venus could be for your cross watchers that's watching remember on your way out hit the um uh hit the like button below if you want a personal private reading you're welcome to call me um all the information is listed below my phone number my email address you guys are more than welcome um if you want a personal private reading to see where you fit in if this is you okay that's the only way you're really going to find out other than that you know they're just uh, general messages you guys you guys take care and i'll talk to you soon happy birthday pisces bye